Welcome to JNUP 2022. My name is Adam Derrick from Jamf. You're attending Adopting Mac Management and Security in Healthcare, a spotlight on UMC Utrecht. Whether you're attending virtually or watching this after the fact, we want to thank you for viewing. Hello, my name is Henk Gottfried, father and a husband, and I work for the UMC Utrecht Hospital in the Netherlands. Managing Max became my passion for almost 10 years. Hello all. Here I am, Thijs van Vught, and working with Hank for almost my whole career. I love to work with and for people and making a better workspace for every employee. Like I mentioned, my name is Adam Derrick. I've been with Jamf for three years, uh, previously coming to you from working directly in healthcare, supporting anything with the Apple name for the last 14 years. In my current role at Jamf, I assist current and prospective customers with developing creative solutions to fit their needs. I'm an avid skier and snowboarder and love to travel the world. I'm super happy to be joined by Hank and Tice from UNC Utrecht and excited for you all to hear their Mac management story. The University Medical Center Utrecht is one of the largest academic health centers in the Netherlands. With over 1,100 beds and more than 11,000 employees, UMC Utrecht is comprised of the Academic Hospital, the Faculty of Medicine, and the Wilhelmina Children's Hospital. UMC Utrecht's experience with using Jamf solutions to manage Apple devices has been both positive for both the IT team and end users. From the introduction of Mac in the research area to the pandemic demand for work from home solutions, UMC Utrecht's IT team has managed Apple technology successfully with Jamf. The three focus points for use and management of technology at UMC Utrecht are patient care, research, and education. Research was the first area to introduce macOS into their technology environment. As new research projects required the purchase of new equipment, users were given their choice of device, UMC Utrecht researchers chose Mac. This meant the IT team supporting the research department not only had to become knowledgeable about Mac hardware and software, but also needed to learn how to efficiently uh, and effectively manage multiple Apple devices. Hank was tasked with researching how to manage Mac in a modern way. He's going to walk you through his initial research of a management solution, how and why they initially chose the Casper suite, and how as individuals from other areas introduce Mac into their environment, IT leaders look to Hank and his small team of four for device management. Yeah, in uh, 2012, we did everything by hand by using the tick imaging concept. Macs were entirely configured exactly the way we want them to be. Next, we created an image of the Mac and deployed that over the machines. So they were completely identical. In 2012, we got an approval from management to search the market for an MDM. Management was looking for three specific things for, from an MDM perspective. One, it should reduce cost. Two, make managing Macs easy. And the last one, experience has to be user-friendly. In 2017, we did a first attempt to centralize all the company-owned Macs. Macs were not the standard offering and were not coming from the central IT. So there were some added costs associated with managing a Mac at that time. Came 2019, we did a second attempt after we merged with the central IT. This time with a success. Over the course of the past two years, the demand for Max devices within the UMC tracks has been phenomenal. New employees are F or new employees are offered the choice of devices. Current numbers are 3,100 Max, almost. 8,000 Windows PCs and 6,500 iOS and, and, and iPad OS devices. In 2020, the COVID-19 global pandemic escalated the need for IT device management to support end-user efficiency. 
With the new challenge of disappeared network and workforce, we were tasked with managing a pilot with 1,000 MacBooks. Next, we'll hear from Tice, who's going to speak about how they were able to get this Mac management device process started. Take it away, Tice. Hi, when I started at the UMC in 2004, there were so Max and support was limited. The demand was high for support, but Macs were not seen as managed workspaces. Hel Hank called me some days and asked me to share some knowledge. The question was, how can we serve those people? We had two solutions at that time, DVD disc image with a cleaning sole or a bit dirty way and it was clone disc. The faster solutions, uh, the faster solutions at the moment was by using disk utility. So we made a clone of every single Mac to make it a bit cleaner, a bit cleaner. Think about a Mac mini, a MacBook air or an iMac clone image that went well for a few years, but over time with growth, we needed uh, a management solution. So. After five years of struggling with disk utility, we needed to find a more modern way of managing our Macs. We started looking on the market for the best management solution at that time. Soon, two MDM solutions came up, the Casper Suite and Mobile Iron. After lots of digging, research, and talking to other Java customers, we did make a purchase in 2013 for 100 licenses of the Casper Suite. The version was version 8.7. To show how far Jump have gone, Jump Pro is now on 10.39. Uh, that's the current version of this recording. Thanks, Tice. The one rule that Hank implemented immediately is that you only get complete full access to the Jamf Pro instance if you've got all the qualifications, as in passing every one of the Jamf Pro certification courses, including the previous Casper certifications like CCA. Um, so from Jamf 100 to 400. In order to get access to Jamf Pro, you have to know what you're doing. So passing the exam means that you're eligible to control the policies and configurations that are being deployed down to your computers. You don't want someone that didn't do much training to mess up your whole environment. And then you have to go, hey, what did they do? So with each new version of Jamf Pro that was uh, released after the Casper suite, all four team members would uh, sign up for certification and training uh, and go from the uh, legacy Casper certifications over to the Jamf Pro certifications. The same goes for any kind of uh, Apple updates that become available. Education is number one for Hank and Tice, and this is one of the reasons why their team is so successful. When Apple releases a new macOS version, the UMCU Apple team attends in-person trainings and gets the know-how uh, in how to manage macOS devices directly from Apple. So you may ask, you know, why won't you let anyone touch the admin console without certification? And, you know, the main benefit to using a tool like the Casper Suite or Jamf Pro is it really comes down to you need to know what you're doing. And if you don't know what you're doing and you make one mistake, it can affect your entire fleet of Macs. Trust me. I've been in situations like that before where I had to fix things. It's not fun. So Hank, can you provide a little bit more uh, intel regarding your experience with GMF trainings? Yeah, so the, the training were very interactive. We made some good friends from other organizations at that time. Best practices, best, best practices workflows and deep dives were made at that time and it was very clear and yeah everything worked out and um, when we left the training it all felt good awesome thanks hank appreciate that 
And for anybody who uh, hasn't attended an in-person training before, um, at the moment we are offering the trainings remotely. Uh, hopefully at some point we move back to in-person trainings, but the remote trainings are just as engaging as the in-person trainings. And we also have the Jamf online training catalog if you would need uh, any best practice workflows. That's another really great resource to get you amped up for the Jamf trainings. I'm going to pass it back over to Tice, and he's going to talk about how they initially deployed uh, and managed their Macs with the Casper suite. Take it away, Tice. Yes, thank you. Next, we had the deployment of Casper. We used AutoGMG and Casper Imaging back in the days, but we always need to have a USB disk uh, to boot up our Mac OS and start Casper Imaging. Forgetting your disk was frustrating, and we found it annoying that not everyone could start this proce process without a human intervention. Since the USB disk were not an uh, efficient way of imaging, we moved to uh, unitalize Apple netbook services. Uh, we were able to boot with the end key and start Casper imaging. That was a nice progress that day. Our first onboarding tool was Splash Buddy. It was created to provide an elegant and secure, secure onboarding tool for the end using during, during the enrollment process. Splash Buddy notifies the user when it detects that certain software was, was being installed. When Splashberry recognizes a package name in the log file, it notifies the user that the package has been installed. With this, it keeps the user informed and they know the latest status process while their Mac is being configured. In 2017, we had a mission to present the end user little or no interaction during the rollout of macOS. We had to make sure that all Macs were compliant and activated after enrollment. Also, we had to make sure that all apps and configuration were installed for the end user. So what you can see right here, we have a new employee who's setting up their MacBook for the first time. Uh, what's happening right now, they went ahead and powered it on. They're creating their local user account here. Nice and, uh, nice and fast typing there. And next, what's going to happen is all of our core applications that we want to be deployed down to the end user are going to be deployed. Um, but we don't want anybody to ask any kind of questions about what's going on uh, in the background. So you can see here Splash Buddy is essentially letting the user know the status of uh, how their Mac is being configured. Here you can see the growth in recent years. You can clearly see that during the COVID pandemic, we grow, we, we have grown enormously. The demand was high for a home workspace and we were ready for it. We now have over 2,100 and 100 machines under our management and we are continuing to grow. The users want, to, want a working system, whatever at home or at work. The goal remains the same. A user is, is satisfied with his workspace. This should not involve too much complexity. The rumors are that we will grow up to 2,500 Macs at the end of this year. The main compliments that we get from end users is the amount of flexibility they get and the feeling that they own the device. They bound to the device. Because basically, they get a sealed box with a Mac. Uh, they can unseal, open it, and start the onboarding process. And after that, they are on their own. As an IT uh, experience, I must say, we don't have many uh, help desk tickets. And most tickets are easy peasy, lemon squeezy stuff. Thanks, Tice. For UMC Utrecht, the commitment to become, you know, experts at device management with Jamf has certainly paid off with both IT time for deployment and management slashed and user experience improved. Um, while speaking with Tice, he mentioned that, 
you know, for a deployment, it's just 20 minutes if you have a good internet connection, uh, which is crazy because, uh, you know, back in my previous life, I used to walk around with, with a big hard drive like this imaging computers and uh it was quite quite amount of time and as tice mentioned if you forget uh that external disc or or usb drive you're in trouble so um tice can you talk to us a little bit more about uh you know your thoughts on working with jamf and you know how how the hard work paid off for you yes thank you adam uh yeah jamf uh yeah, has provided us an easy onboarding tool. And we had a task to uh, do it a fast way, uh, in a clear way to um, um, the people have to be uh, easy, easy working at home. So our task was to, to do that and save them some work and some time to open the laptop, logging in and uh, work. So what we did was just easy uh easy enrollment so the user gets the offers gets um certain stuff that they need uh only the basic stuff and then they uh they they could work and they will uh ready to work yeah N next i will talk about tools that we use in addition to jamf pro the first tool being used is jamf protect when we identify a threat on an endpoint we already have an isolation and remediation of the computer in place. When Jamprotect identifies an issue with a Mac, it will place the Mac into a special smart group. The smart group is an, is an exclusion scope to receive the appropriate certification that can grant uh, access to the Wi-Fi or VPN until the user contacts the help desk remediation. When recovery can when recovery can be managed through the cell service, Jeff Pro can easily provide instructions to guide the user and bring their Mac into its previous state. For extreme cases, we can even reinstall macOS on the device and redeploy any existing applications to ensure that the computer is once again safe and fully trusted. As I Previously mentioned, COVID came along and we had to figure out how to make it possible and make sure that only safe devices can access corporate applications and data. We also had to make sure end users are authenticated via SSL. With Jeff Private Access, we can connect users to apps they are authorized to access and based on risk aware access policies, we prevent access from users and devices that may be compromised. So as you can see in the video here, once we are enabling private access, we have a secure access to the company resources, such as share. The most common top desk calls in the past few years came from account lockouts, especially after vacations and holidays, it was a madhouse. So Jump Connect, helps in users authentication and identity management to securely connect users to the UMCU tag resources. Passwords are now synced and shared can, and shares can be mounted any, any time, any place with Jamf Trust. Users can simply sign in to work and go to work. As UMC Utrecht's partnership with Jamf has grown to include more products, the IT team continues to explore new usage prospects. So Hank, at the moment, uh, you know, you have over 3000 Apple devices managed by Jamf Pro in your environment. What are your plans for the future when it comes to Jamf and Apple devices? Yeah, so basically we would like to uh also get uh, the, the iOS devices in our in, in Jamf at this moment, uh, but that's still a long run. But I think it's uh, a, it will be yeah something for us to pledge in the in the in the next few months, maybe a year. But we would like to go into managing iOS and tvOS. It's our big plan. 
Awesome. And those iOS devices, are you uh, going to be putting any iOS devices in the hands of your patients? Yeah, at this moment, we do have a um, clinical project running at this moment. And I think it will be a, a best fit to uh, yeah, manage those with Genfro also. Awesome. Thanks, Hank. If you're interested in learning more about UMC Utrecht and Jamf's partnership and our story together, check out our recently published case study at jamf.it forward slash UMCU or simply scan the QR code on the screen. Yeah, I would like to do uh, a special thank to the Mac admins community also and a special thank to uh, Pro Warehouse for their guidance. Yeah, without your support, we didn't get so far. So thank you all. Awesome. Thanks, Hank. Thanks, Tice. On behalf of Jamf and UMC Utrecht, we want to thank you for attending our JNUC session today. Uh, we'll be online for questions and answer answers after the session. So please ask any questions that you may have. Enjoy the rest of JNUC.